am leaving for university in a week. Yeah, a week today, pretty much. And so I've started my packing. Obviously, I've not done everything, but I am getting there and starting to put some little bits and bobs together so that the move goes a bit more smoothly. So this box is for food essentials. So I just have things like pasta, tea bags, all those sorts of things I'm gonna need in like first week before I have the time to do a food shop. I have a sort of toiletries, hygiene sort of box with like washing up powder, tablet things and tissues and tablets and all that sort of thing that you're gonna need. This box is going to be for decoration things, so photo frames, um, cameras, things to decorate my room with basically, and things from friends and stuff that I can put up. And then I also have this bag which is going to be filled with stationary things, so I have like a wall planner, have my folders, things like that um, for actual academics which I'm going to put in a box when I've found a box that I can put it in. So we've put some of it next door in our neighbour's house because they've actually got a lot more space than us, but look how much there is to take. It's a bit of a joke, really. So the kitchen stuff is already all packed. We're going to leave it in these two bags because we don't want to take too much back to our house when all of that is kitchen stuff. What we're doing is we're taking back things that are um, sort of all in random bags and putting them in the right boxes and stuff because that's kitchen, that's bedding, but then all of this is just sort of random stuff that needs to be sorted. So that is what we're doing right now. Now we've got to sort all of this out. Hmm. We've sorted everything into boxes, stationery, decor, don't judge how big the decor box is, groceries, toiletries, electrics, bathroom, clothes, and dog. Can I take you with me? Can you come with me to uni? Please? Come with me. Love you. <laughs> One thing I didn't quite realise is how much you actually need for university. Like things that you don't really think about like extension leads or you know washing up liquid, slippers, things that like you take for granted at home that you just don't think about actually needing um there's so much of that and hopefully over the years of university i'll learn to pack less because right now i've packed a ridiculous amount i think i really have left to pack on my clothes so i'm not going to take all of them obviously but that is the next job but i won't be doing that till next weekend because i need to wear my clothes between now and then I'm also not looking forward to having to transport all of these academic books to uni as well. Um, I haven't bought all of them because I thought it would be better to buy them when I'm there when I find out what I need. But these were like the essentials essentials so hopefully these will stand me in good stead. The day before I leave for uni and I've only now realised how much stuff I have is actually a joke. Like I've pretty much taken everything out of my room that I need for uni and it's still full of stuff. I'm a hoarder. There's no doubt about it. Um. I might need to condense this down a little bit because right now that's not even going to fit in the car if nobody was in it so so this is what we've condensed it down to as well as that box there this box here these and then two suitcases so quite a lot but not too bad maybe not i don't know it's gonna look bad as so it's way, 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 way later now. Sorry, I haven't really vlogged today or anything. I've just been with the family and trying to pack. So I'm just doing last minute things now. I'm gonna do my nails. I've like sorted my eyebrows out enough that they're presentable. Um, obviously a lot of stuff I can't pack till the morning, like toothbrush, toothpaste and that. But I've got my list ready to go in the morning uh, of things that I just need to whack together. Um, and I'm also gonna FaceTime some of my friends that I've already made like before going. Um, just because we wanna have a talk about the texts so we don't feel completely thick. Um, we probably won't end up talking about it, but yeah. Um, so that is the plan. I'll pick you up again tomorrow, um, hopefully for a fun filled day of moving um still hasn't really hit me that i'm gonna go yet i'm not entirely sure when it's supposed to hit you yet to hit me guys <laughs> so it's now monday the 1st of october and i'm just about to leave to go to uni um i don't know why i'm still just acting like casuals if i'm just going on holiday or something but it's a very long expensive holiday i suppose um done my makeup very quickly um hence why 
it's looking a little bit uh, slapped out, especially the falsies, but we're gonna ignore that. And yeah, I'm pretty ready to go. Um, I'm wearing this jumper from H&M and this pinafore from H&M um, just because that's the only thing I didn't pack. So yeah, my room is in actual state, but it doesn't matter because I'm not coming back for eight weeks, so not my problem. <laughs> Oops. Oh my God. <laughs> Awkward. It's Jess, say goodbye. Say goodbye to the vlog and to me. Oh, Everyone's gonna miss having you on the vlogs for a while, I think. She's number one most sought after person. Smile, it means that you get the whole bed to yourself. It does, it does. What do you mean? I'll be sharing with you, Grace. And Grace, it's like something stuck in the, in the middle of a stool. <laughs> she rolls, doesn't she? She does, doesn't she? She rolls. Oh, bye, baby. Bye, bye. She looks so grey on the camera. Sorry, Jess, that was really mean. But she's getting a new colour today. <gasps> new colour! Wow. Getting a new colour. So I'm now in the car. Um, as you can see. We didn't load it like right up to the roof because Grace and Stuart are also coming. So they're going in Stuart's car and we're coming in this car. So we figured if we're taking two cars anyway, because like just long story, we may as well just split across two cars. But <laughs> there's quite a lot uh, behind me as you can see. But it does mean that it's a bit more of a comfortable journey um, and there's quite a lot of parking. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um, and it's a bit easier to manage. Um, so yeah, I've just said bye to the dog, <laughs> um, which is really, really sad. It's not really just not singing in at all. Like I thought it'd be really emotional and stuff, but it just hasn't even hit me that I'm leaving, to be honest. So yeah, um, I've got my phone, I've got all my electronics, I, I hope, um, in my bag next to me because I'm paranoid. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's that's pretty much everything I have to say, yeah. See so you when I get there. <laughs> We've just made it to Tesco um, and we're just getting some uh, paper because I realised that I haven't got any paper for the printer and some milk because tea is important. Um, so I'm just waiting in the car with the stuff because obviously we don't really want to leave the stuff. And the sat nav says we should get there about half past ten. Um, but the way my mum drives it'll probably be like quarter past ten because she's crazy. <laughs> exactly the same as the room I had on Unique, how ironic, pretty much. So there's the bed, shelves, cupboard, wardrobe, that's a wardrobe, that's a sink. There's a farm alarm, that's the view outside the window. And then more shelves, a desk, and a chest of drawers. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Massive. Well, we can like command hook it, like either side, right. maybe. We're unpacking. Louis here, who doesn't want to be on camera, but Viola's also here. Hello. I'd be very surprised if Viola didn't want to be on camera because you know she's a YouTuber. <laughs> but I'm just going to put you on camera just to annoy you now. He's already got his little clip anyway, right? Exactly. Of you putting um, you putting the lights up on the wall. <laughs> Grace is here. Stuart's here. 
don't know where mum's gone. Mum's down there somewhere. It's starting to look slightly better than it did. I think the shelves look all right now. I just need to make them look a bit more like. So long. <laughs> Everyone's so leaving. Long. Our feed is saying goodbye. Enjoy doing your laundry. Give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> See you Have later. Right. See you at Christmas. Don't die. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Have fun. All right, well, I suppose. Bye then. Bye. Have you got the keys and everything? Uh, yeah, car keys. Have you got my actual keys for my room? <laughs> Lovely to meet you guys. Yeah, you yeah, too. Nice to meet you. Enjoy the studies. Have you got the keys for my room? Oh, right, okay, great. All right, well. Bye. 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 See you later. I'll well, see you in December. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> bye. Oh, Mum, don't cry. Oh, bye. <laughs> They're off. They're going. They're leaving. I can't believe Mum's crying. Bye. Film till they go. They're going to do a turn back. No, they're not. It's a bit peak in here. All right then. So my room is all unpacked, which I'm not going to show you because I'm going to do a room tour. But Louis and Viola are leaving in a minute. Um, so I'm going to go to register, then get my bag thing. Like, I'm going to leave you here because there's no point in me taking you, but see you in a bit.